Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger R20 backpack. Krieger's R20 is a massively popular bag that's ideal for commuting and trips away when you don't need to haul a huge load with you. It's currently £129, that is a serious price tag, but you get a serious bag in return for the outlay, so let's run through some of those essential details. It runs Krieger's Quadlock Light Harness, that clips across the front of your chest, which holds the weight more firmly and reducing any pressure on your shoulders and your back. It just clips up once and then it tightens from both directions here for a close fit across the front of your body. There's also an additional adjustable waist belt. You can remove that if you prefer, it's more aimed at dirt riders really, although I used it for road riding and I found no issue with having the waist belt in place. The height of the chest brace can also be altered. These dots on the straps here help you set that height and also to keep it straight. You fiddle with the straps to get the dots so that they appear in this slider here. The more dots that show, three, two or one, the longer the straps and the lower the bag will sit on your back. The padded sections of these straps then feed into the bag or emerge from the bag itself as you make the straps shorter and longer. There's also a channel on each of these shoulder straps where a hydration tube can feed from the main bag through and then be stuck onto the chest brace. The hydration pack that supplies the water for those tubes then sits in the main bag itself. This bag needs Krieger's three litre pack. It attaches into the main compartment by Velcro loops and it costs £45 for Krieger's Hydropack, which is more than a Bog Basic Hydropack, but the quality means it's far better than a Bog Basic Hydropack too. There's also the option to attach a range of small pockets to the chest brace. Krieger do optional extras of little packs that hold phones, wallets and cash. So switching to the main compartment for this bag, there's quite a large space behind here. It's a wide open space, but there are a couple of extra pockets as well. This one here is a compression pocket, so these straps pull it tight to either pull your stuff tight to take up less room or to hold a hydro pack in place. Then there's also a, just a resilient pocket behind here, which is handy for keeping things that you might need to get to in a bit of a hurry. The rest of it is entirely up to you how you pack it. It's a decent sized space in there, and I found that I could get my essentials in there for a day of what I call work. That's a laptop, some headphones, a lunch, and also a pair of shoes. The customers who've reviewed this bag seem to express the capacity of it in all sorts of ways. Some say it's good for day trips and days in the office. Others say that it's got enough capacity for a weekend away. One reviewer said he could fit in two litres of milk, two litres of baby milk, and a four pack of beer. That doesn't sound quite as much fun as another owner who filled his R20 with a right old night in. Two bottles of wine, four beers, a large bag of crisps, and 48 chicken nuggets. We didn't even think you could get 48 chicken nuggets, so obviously we're the ones missing out. This compartment isn't waterproof, but it has a water resistant zip and it will keep your stuff dry for a limited amount of time. Quite a few of the 88 customers who've reviewed this bag actually say it is waterproof as they've survived varying lengths of downpours without getting their stuff wet. Believe me though, if you ride in heavy rain for long enough, the water will get in. So it's worth investing in some dry bags to protect your valuable contents on the inside. Krieger make roll top dry bags if you want to keep it consistent and keep it Krieger, but so do quite a few other companies as well. So you don't have to go down the Krieger route. Once you've loaded up the main compartment, if it's not completely full, you can use these straps here to compress it and mean that the bag's taking up no more room than it needs to. There's also one external pocket that's just behind that clip access it behind there and you can actually get quite a bit of stuff in there if you need it to. You can also extend the capacity of the bag by attaching Krieger's dry packs to the outer surface through these loops just here. You can either put on a US 5 or a US 10 dry pack to give yourself an extra 5 or 10 litres of capacity and those extra bags will be waterproof. The customer reviews for this bag are very impressive. Of those 88 people to have left a review for their bag, 89% gave it the maximum five stars and that says a lot for the build quality. Lots of people admit that it is expensive. This bag is £129, as I said earlier, but almost all of them say it's worth the money. There's loads of praise for the build quality, for the capacity and the comfort, and there's also the 10-year warranty that Krieger provide that gets mentioned quite a bit. One reviewer's logic on that works really well for me. He says this bag works out at £1.08 per month if it lasts you 10 years. 
His maths definitely add up, I've checked, and I think it will take something out of the ordinary for this bag to last less than 10 years, even if you use it a lot in very demanding circumstances. Lots of people say you hardly know you're wearing it, and I can see what they mean based on my time with this bag. I've got more experience of Krieger's larger R30 rucksack than this one, but this smaller bag makes it really easy to carry a day's worth of stuff with you, and I'm sure it'll do an overnight stay if you pack carefully. There are some criticisms in the reviews. Some people want a two-way zip on the main compartment here. It's each to their own, but I wouldn't personally want that. If you leave the two zip pullers at the top by accident, they will creep apart in the wind as you ride, opening up and letting your stuff fly out and land in the verge, which is something that I would rather give a miss. The other common-ish complaint is that there's no waterproof cover. Having criticised another premium backpack because it didn't provide a way of keeping your stuff dry, it would be wrong for me to let Krieger off the hook completely on that score. If you're looking at riding in all weathers all the time, then I'd say you'll need to either get some dry bags to protect your contents. It's 29 quid for a Krieger dry bag, or you can get a pack of three from other brands for about 25 quid. Or another option is to step up to Krieger's waterproof R30 rucksack. But if rain is something that only happens when you get caught out and you don't need to carry a load of stuff with you all the time, this R20 is a great bag that has a very impressive customer satisfaction rating. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger R20 backpack. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.